I'm Gary Bembridge and I want to talk about the eight places you can actually cruise to in the next month. Over 10 different cruise lines are sailing in the next month and there is actually a brand new cruise capital of the world. It is no longer Florida, certainly for now. There's lots of doom and gloom about cruising. As we know, the cruise lines out of the US ports have suspended all cruisings right through to the middle of September, some even longer, the same out of the UK. Spain has announced that cruise ships are no longer allowed at any of its ports indefinitely. Australia and New Zealand have extended right into quarter three. Canada have stopped cruise ships over a certain size. However, there is some really good news. There are eight different places you can cruise to, so let's take a look at them. They cover the United States, Europe and Asia and even more exotic places than that. Norway has emerged as the brand new cruise capital of the world. This gives you the most options in terms of cruising. However, at this point in time, you do need to be Norwegian or Danish. Hurtigruten have started sailing already. They now have up to five ships sailing along the Norwegian coastline. As I mentioned, you have to be Norwegian and Danish, but they are looking to eventually open that up to more international tourists. An example of that is they have also started a sailing out of Hamburg, Germany for German passengers. This is a very interesting cruise because it heads up over 10 days up to Norwegian fjords. However, there are no on-land calls. So all of the activities take place in RIB boats or kayaking. So they're all on water kind of excursions. However, Norway and the Norwegian fjords is incredibly beautiful. So actually seeing it from the water is fantastic anyway. Also in Norway, Sea Dream, the ultra luxury yacht style cruising, they started sailing with now both of their ships, Sea Dream 1 and Sea Dream 2. Again, for Norwegian and Danish passengers only. So certainly Norway is where there is the most cruising activity of all in the world right now. Tahiti and French Polynesia has also opened to cruising. They're starting initially with two cruises, one on the 11th of July and the other on the 18th of July, Tahiti and Society Island Voyages, which are initially for local people only. However, they are opening to international travelers as French Polynesia opens its gates. The first international cruise, which is taking place on Ponant's Paul Gagan ship, is starting up and available for international travelers from all around the world on the 29th of July. However, if you do want to cruise in French Polynesia, you have to have done a COVID-19 test within 72 hours of boarding the plane to Tahiti. That's also a requirement to board the ship. You have to have that certificate. So certainly if you want to go cruising and you want to have a full cruising experience, Tahiti is another place to go. It is open to international travelers. The third area you can cruise is Iceland. Iceland had said they were going to open to cruising and they have allowed the very first international expedition cruise to take place. And so Ponant are heading up to the area and they will start sailing during July. They're going to be running seven night, eight day cruises on a brand new ship, the La Bellotte. These are expedition cruises, so they're not necessarily calling at the normal places. So you fly in from Paris, which is part of the deal. You have to do a COVID-19 test at the airport. That costs you about a hundred euros, so about a hundred US dollars. You then have to wait up to five hours for the test. Assuming that you are negative, then the ship will let you board. That's the current rule. So anyone flying into Iceland has to do that. As I mentioned, most of these cruises are going to be expedition cruises, so they're not calling at the usual places you'd expect. You're going to really wild and remote parts of Iceland, seeing glaciers. You're going to head up through into the Arctic Circle. So certainly if you want to go cruising, it's open to international travelers. The other place that you can go ocean cruising is in France. France is lifting its health emergency on the 11th of July and that allows cruises in France to take place. Also very importantly is the borders between EU countries have lifted. So certainly for French passengers and some EU passengers are going to be able to sail in France. And so Ponant is going to be the first cruise ship that will start sailing on the 11th of July. They're going to be sailing out of French ports to French destinations only and they are putting five ships onto various different itineraries. It's really targeted initially at French citizens and also increasingly to EU citizens. Across in Asia, cruising is also going to be starting up right at the end of July, and this is going to take place in Taiwan. The Genting owned Dream Cruises has the permission to start sailing. They're going to be sailing with one of their ships, and that is the Explorer Dream. And this is going to be doing a little bit like the French example, only calling to Taiwanese 
destination. So it's going to go island hopping and it is only going to be initially for Taiwanese residents. So that is a cruise that's starting up and certainly Genting with their Dream and their Star Cruises is negotiating very actively to start a similar thing out of China, but they are not confirmed to start yet in July. European river cruising is starting to open up and the big trigger for that was when the borders between each of the EU countries opened on the 15th of June and that did unlock the ability for European cruises to start. At the moment there's not that much choice in what you can do however you can go river cruising. Nico Cruises started up on the Rhine really targeting German passengers. Rosa has been the most active again really targeting German speakers and German passengers and they've started up on the Douaro, they've also started up now on the Rhine, on, on the Danube. They haven't started up in France yet, but they will start up in the middle of July and their first cruise is going to be on the 15th of July. Across Europe, which is the biggest cruise operator in terms of the number of ships, they're French based and they also plan to start rolling out their cruise ships during July. So if you want to sail in France, they're Rhine and Danube and then from August they are taking bookings now for the Douaro in Portugal. Most of the other cruise lines which rely very heavily though on US passengers are not really planning to start up till much later. Although the borders between EU countries have been opened and that also includes the UK which has of course left the EU. However, the United States is excluded from entering the EU at this point in time. Russia, China and a few other countries including those countries in South America not yet included. So those cruise lines, those river cruise lines that re rely very heavily on US passengers are going to struggle a little bit more to open up. But certainly if you're in the EU, one of the EU countries, you're going to be able to go river cruising admittedly with limited choice. If you're in the United States, what are your options? Well, one of your key options is river cruising. There were plans to start much earlier by the American cruise lines. However, some of the resurgence of COVID-19 pulled that. However, they are now signed up and due to start sailing on the Mississippi. And those sailings start on July the 12th. And they will be the first US based cruise line that can start selling. Very important to understand is that the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, has a no sale order. However, that only applies to ships with fewer than 250 passengers. Your other option, if you are a, in the US, is uncruise, is plan to start up as we head out of July into the beginning of August in Alaska. So again, they don't fall under the CDC rules because they do have fewer than 250 passengers. Very importantly to note for people heading into Alaska, again Alaska currently has the requirement to have a COVID-19 test to be able to enter the state and of course that will be a requirement to be able to cruise with uncruise in Alaska. So although ocean cruising certainly in the big biggest market which is the United States, the Caribbean, it is currently closed and locked down with no real sign of that unlocking yet across the Mediterranean there's still no signs that big movements between countries with ocean cruising is starting up anytime soon. We have no dates on that and certainly a lot of the Mediterranean based cruise lines have not announced they've got absolute approval to start selling because many of those had included Spanish ports which of course are closed. However, there are at least as of recording eight different places you can go cruising. A lot of it depends on what nationality you are. Over 10 cruise lines. Cruising has started to roll out and has small signs of beginning to start up again. I have loads more videos of cruise updates, tips, advice, so why don't you watch another one of those right now?